Started your timer and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood considering it surgical anatomy station, kindly please tell me if you can identify the structures. Yes, what are you looking at? This is posterior inferior surface of liver. Yes. And uh, it is showing right and left lobe, quadrate lobe, quadrate lobe and gallbladder. Yes. Along with... Uh, along with... with the porta hepatis and uh, hepatic ligaments. Yes. And uh, can also you? There is, yes. Also, yes. there is a bare area of liver. Right. Okay. Can you please identify the structures which are circled beginning from here, 25? This is right triangular ligament. Okay. Uh, what are um, these triangular ligaments? These are uh, peritoneal folds which are connect, which connect liver to the diaphragm and uh, uh, support liver. Okay. Can you please identify a structure? Where is my cursor? Yes, nine, please. That is gallbladder. Okay. Then five below gall, gallbladder. Five, please. Five is common hepatic duct. Okay. Can you please identify 20? 20 is portal way. Yes. And 13, please. 13 is inferior vena cava. Okay. 12, uh, 2, please. 2 is quadrate low. Yes. 17, please. It's a fissure for ligamentum teres uh, and anteriorly it's from falciform and round ligament. Yes, very good. Okay, 21, please. It's quadrate low. 11, please. Hepatic artery. Okay, 15, please. 15 is uh, left here, uh, triangular ligament. Can you please tell me how would you divide the liver in right and left lobes? Not it just anatomically, be, yes. Tell me all the classifications, please. It can be divided anatomically, uh, 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 right and left lobe, as a, from the grooves uh, for ligamentum teres and ligamentum venosum posteriorly and anteriorly falciform ligament. And uh, surgically, it is divided uh, by, uh, from uh, by a line passing from gallbladder fossa to inferior vena cava. Okay. Can you please tell me what are the structures which pass through porta hepatis? Uh, porta hepatis has anteriorly hepatic duct. Uh, in a middle, there is hepatic artery and posteriorly portal vein. All right, good. Okay. Can you please tell me what are the structures which support the liver? Uh, there are uh, ligaments, uh, uh, falciform ligament, right and left triangular ligament, upper and lower coronary ligament, and lesser omentum. Okay. Can you also tell me how they are connecting or how they are protecting or supporting liver? Like falciform ligament is attached between what to what like this? Yes. Falciform ligament uh, attaches liver anterior surface of liver to anterior abdominal wall and inferior surface of diaphragm. 
Yes. And also corona, uh, right and left, uh, triangular and upper and lower coronary ligaments uh, attach posterior inferior surface of liver to inferior surface of diaphragm. Good. Lesser rumentum, it att attaches uh, to the liver, visceral surface of the liver to the uh, with the stomach and the duodenum. Tell me about the blood supply of the liver. Liver has dual blood supply. Uh, yes. 80% is from portal vein and yes. 20% is from hepatic artery. Which is a branch portal of? Vein, it is a branch of uh, hepatic artery proper, which is branch of gastric artery from the celiac trunk. Celiac trunk, okay. And the venous drainage uh, goes into? Uh, ven uh, venous drainage via hepatic veins, it goes to inferior vena cava. Very good. Okay, just suppose a person uh, gets stabbed uh, in the epigastrium. So, which two organs uh, or what part of liver you can say or which two organs can get injured? Uh, it's left surface, uh, left lobe of liver and, and uh, the stomach. Okay, all right. Can you also please tell me, uh, you told me, right, uh, this is nine is gallbladder. Can you tell me the parts of the gallbladder? It has fundus, body, and neck. Okay, can you please tell me the surface marking of gallbladder? Uh, the fundus, it lies at uh, ninth, uh, the junction of ninth costal cartilage and uh, uh, right lateral rectus, uh, uh, sheath of rectus, uh, uh, lateral margin of rectus sheath. Okay. Which is at L1 uh, or transpyloric plane. Yes. Can you please explain why a person might see pain in the tip of the left shoulder in case of cholecystitis? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, in case of cholecystitis, inflamed uh, gallbladder causes irritation of diaphragm, which is supplied by phrenic nerve with root values C3, C4, and C5, it also, uh, which has uh, as same as the supraclavicular nerve root value, which supplies tip of right shoulder. Okay, you identified the bare area of the liver. Why is it called bare area? Uh, it is not covered by parietal or visceral peritoneum. And yes. It is in the posterior inferior surface of liver. Uh, and also there are other areas like fossa of gallbladder, portal uh, uh, in IVC area. These are also not covered with peritoneum. Okay, can you please tell me about the caudate lobe and the quadrate lobe, which part of the liver they belong to or which lobe of the liver they belong to? They belong to an uh, an uh, uh, surgical left lobe of the liver. Quadrate lobe is surrounded by, uh, it is on the right side, uh, the fossa of gallbladder and on the left side by groove for ligamentum teres uh, and quadrate lobe Sorry, caudate lobe is formed. Uh, it is bounded by uh, groove for IVC and uh, groove for or fissure for ligamentum venosum. Okay, can you please tell me the relation of the structures on the lower and uh, posterior inferior surface of the liver? Yes, ma'am. Uh, posterior inferior surface uh, or also a uh, visceral surface. Uh, it has uh, grooves for the, uh, the impression for stomach area, omental groove on the left side. Yes. The quadrate lobe, uh, it is related with duodenum and uh, pylorus of the stomach. Which part of right duodenum? First part of duodenum. Okay. And on the right uh, side, the colonic hepat uh, right uh, hepatic flexure of colon. Yes. And renal renal uh, area also it is connected. Which part of uh, renal and kidney? Uh, it's related to uh, pelvis. It's, uh, right kidney, uh, superior part. Okay. Can you please look at this image and explain? Bell has gone, but we got late. Uh, this is a magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatic program. Okay. Uh, Shows what? Can you identify the structures from A to E? Yes. So a, a is gallbladder, B is right hepatic duct, C is left hepatic duct, and yes. uh, E is common uh, bile duct. Indeed.
does it show anything can you are you in a position to document or uh, label it or comment on it what you're looking at right renal or right kidney anything Sorry, no anyone else doctor um, all those who are giving exam dr abbas dr uh, abdul razak uh, dr kulade yes the renal pelvis yes ma'am i think renal is, is the renal yeah. pelvis however um, it seems there's a filling defects in the common bowel ducts. Yes. Um, below that labeling of E. Yes. yes. Okay, yes, good. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Ma.